Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. New at 11, Sacramento police need your help to identify these three people. They were caught on surveillance in the same area where the N-word was written in the parking space of an assistant principal at West Campus High School. The father and son accused of starting the Caldor fire both pled not guilty via Zoom in court today. David and Travis Smith will both be back in court Monday. The man accused in the execution-style killing of a North Natomas librarian will face a murder trial. Sacramento court records show that Ronald C. will be tried in March for killing Amber Clark in 2018. Davis police have reported more than 45 catalytic converter thefts over the last month and 20 of those in the last few days. Honda Accords and Toyota Priuses are the most highly targeted. A CVS in Davis robbed twice in one day. A plainclothes detective was following up after the first robbery when the second occurred. Two people were arrested, three others got away. California prosecutors say holiday charity scams are on the rise, and if you're ever unsure, you can always check the Attorney General's Registry of Charitable Trusts. Nine of Sacramento's largest companies did not meet a new law taking effect in January. California requiring every public company to have at least three women on the board of directors. Right now, only one woman is required. The U.S. Labor Department is reporting a nearly 7% jump in prices for U.S. consumers in November compared to last year. That's the highest inflation rate since 1982. Tomorrow night in Vegas, Sacramento's Josh Emmett returning to the Octagon after an 18-month layoff. Dan Ige tore his ACL 14 seconds into his last fight, but kept fighting and won. A win tomorrow puts him in the running for a featherweight title. We have a final total for our Stand Against Hunger campaign. Your generous donations help raise more than $400,000, helping area food banks serve more than 4 million meals. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.